Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to do, um, as part of a Mediavine challenge, trying to qualify for Mediavine for some of the girls in this group, uh, Lena, who does the adventures in SEO, is making us do horrible things like make new pins and write better titles and things like that. But today we're going to, um, I wanted to show some of the girls in the group how to copy pins. So this is a first pin that Lena gave us as an example of something you could do. So we're going to do this one in Canva because Canva is amazing because you can make yourself your own little templates, right? But what you want to figure out is what is happening in this pin. So the very first thing is at the very back is a picture, right? So we just go over here, we go to elements and we need a picture. So we're going to put a picture in there. The cool thing about this picture when we get to the the making it part of the pin is that it will um it will kind of automatically resize you know put the picture in there and then you can do whatever you want with it um which is not like photoshop where you do a lot of resizing and things like that this is amazing because you can just have a um a picture work automatically all right, so then the next thing is this purple thing, right? So then she has a purple thing, so we need a box for the purple thing. And all you're going to do is you're going to come up here, and you're going to go like this, you're going to go like this, you're going to go like this, leave a little bit around the edges. See, she has a little around the edges. She has a little bit more at the top, and then all the edges are relatively equidistant. And then it's purple, so we're going to make this purple. There we go, purple. Eh, maybe more purple. That's more purple. Okay, and then see how it's not, um, like you can see through it, right? So we have to come up here to this transparency, and we have to make it see through. Now, I, you know, these are the default colors. I guess you could figure out a darker color. Um, but I'm not trying to get uh, super excitable about this. I just need to make some pins, right? If you have brand colors, then you could put your brand colors in here. But, um you can actually add any color. See if we wanted it to be darker purple. There we go. That's a little bit more. Hers is more blue than, than pink, but okay. So now we need to see what are the things that you're doing. So anytime you have a weird, like a change of font, it's going to be easier to do it as a font text box. So we're just going to add a text box, right? Add a text box. And so the very first one seems pretty big, and we're going to do 50 plus, right? So we got 50 plus, and then we're just going to change it to make it a lot bigger to start, right? There we go, 50 plus. And it's white, so we can just make it white to get that color right. But the, but our 50 plus is not as cool as hers. Hers is a, a nicer font, right? So then you just come here, and it's what's called a sensory font, so it Sans means without, and Sarif means the little feet. So um, think Times Roman, the old type that is in books, and uh, the New York Times has little feet on the bottom. So this is a more modern look, this 50 plus. So we need, oh, there we go. Now, that's not exactly what she did, but I sort of like it. Now, if I don't like where, like, see, I, her, her plus mark, is kind of up, kind of up. So I would probably be tempted to make a plus because I like what that looks like. So this is Anton 88. So we just do Anton 88, right? Okay, perfect. And we need to make it white. Okay, there we go. And then we can make the little plus mark up there. Yay, okay, easy peasy, right? Next, we have things you can get. So we need to add a text box. And we want it to go edge to edge almost, right? And it's pretty big text. So now, and it's caps. So these are the things that you want to notice. Um, because it, the reason why this um, kind of scripty font thing stands out more, the for free stands out more, is because it's in lowercase and the other part is in caps. That's called typography and those are things you learn how to do in this video. All right, so uh, some things are wrong with this. First off, we need a, like see how this is skinnier, 
right? It's a skinnier, and that's called condensed. So we can just search for condensed. See how we have all these ones that say condensed? Let's see what happens if we do that. Okay, it's not very bold. Let's see if we can bold it. Some of them you can bold, some of them you can't. Nope, not can't bold. So we're going to have to go find one and pick one that's already, oh, there we go. This one's already condensed. So where that may be exact, uh, very close to what we have. And the way you can find it the most is to look at things like G's. See how this G has a straight mark and then like a pointy thing. And this one has a straight mark and not quite the same pointing thing. Um, it's fine. We're not trying to make exactly the same pin. We're trying to make semi the same thing. All right, so she has things you can get are there. And we need this to be bigger. The nice thing about Canva is you can just pull it out and it'll make it big. You don't have to mess with it. Okay, and now I feel like the line spacing, so the amount of space between thing, this line and this line, is way too big in this. So we want to go to spacing and see line height. We can do that. So we want to reduce that line height until it's not quite so big. And then now our, um, our letters are too big, right? So we're not worried about that. We can fix that easily. Okay. And so I want this to not be quite so big and it's got to be white, right? So we got to make a white. All right. Perfect. Pretty close. Now we need a script font, right? This is a, oh, so first off, we want to copy this, right? So we want to come over here and we want to say copy because this is exactly the same as this on your birthday. And I have my cap locks on so that I can type in, in, uh, you know, you know, in caps. Anyway, so now I need to take my cap locks off because this is lowercase. So we want this for free. And the cool thing about scripty fonts is most times you can come in here and you can say script, right? And now we want something, let's see what dancing script looks like. Okay, so on these ones, it's easy to tell. Fs are really a good one for trying to figure out if you have the right ones. Um, just as a letter. So see how that F is is kind of like almost a handwriting slash script. And this is definitely just handwriting. So this is a lot more formal than that is. Hers got really kind of informal because of her font. So let's find a different font. Uh, script. Right. Um, so we have bad script. We don't want it. Okay, so this guy... Oops. See how he got all floofy? Not to say that there's never a time we want to use a floofy script, but this is very um, childlike, and this is very twee, and we don't want that for this. We might want it for something else, even in this video. No, <laughs> in a later video. Okay, so script. So now we want to find something. Ooh, here we go. So we still don't have her, um, like those Fs, but we have more of the, like the E's look good. And now we need to make it white, right? So there's not a lot going on with this pin. This is a really nice pin. And then the last thing we have to do is double click this picture. Oh, next thing we need to do is upload a picture. So... I have pictures in here. We're just going to use this picture. And the nice thing about it, remember we said it's going to just pop it right in. So you don't have to do anything. And if you want to like change where it's at, you can do that. Now, the reason it's blurry is because that's not a good picture. So I use a site for free pic. I use a site, a stock photo site because I'm a graphic artist. So I get pictures, but you may not have this. So let's do... Um, Let's do birthday cake, birthday cake. And this is on Unsplash and they have what's called a OO creative license, meaning that you can use the pictures, you can manipulate them, you can do whatever you want. 
So this is a layer. So let's talk about like literal versus, um, you know, especially in a pin like this. So literally, this is a wedding cake, right? Um, but watch when we add this. So we're going to upload that image. We just downloaded it. We're going to upload it. And then we're going to drag it into our picture and see you can hardly see it now i might even want to make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of tell it's a cake behind there right done so yes it's a wedding cake but nobody's going to notice for real now let's look at this compared to lena's picture huh I usually like light and bright behind it, but hers, one of the reasons why the purple gets darker is because it's a, a darker picture. So what I would do is, ooh, that may be a good one. It may be too, too dark. Um, ooh, this might be good. Okay, so we're gonna do this one, download for free. We're gonna double click on this. We're gonna hit delete, and then we're gonna upload an image, and then we're gonna, bring it in. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better, right? So now the reason why it's a lot better is we're getting a little bit of contrast between um, like the bottom's light, the top's dark, and so it's interesting as a pin. And that all you do if you want to download it, so download PNG, JPEG, small file size, um, and then you just download it and you upload it to Pinterest, right? So that is all that's required to copy a pin like that. Now, in the next video, we're going to do um, how to copy a really complex pin because this was super easy, right? This was um, two seconds. And the nice thing about it is when you go home, so you save this. So say this becomes one of your pins you use all the time, this kind of format, you would be able to come right back in here write different words and then you know bam you're gone it takes you two seconds to do it that's why i like canva for doing pictures but now we're gonna do a harder pin next video tara jacobson marketing artfully